just pass out. Sleep. Not sure how long, but I don't want to set an alarm. I hope I wake up early tomorrow. Look. Look at this. I had visualized this hairstyle for Japan before I got here. I was like, hmm, one of the days. How cute are baby. I think I'm gonna start wearing my hair like this more. Even just at home because it's getting long enough. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a walk because I looked at my hotel vicinity and there's a shrine and it looks very beautiful. I'm gonna go visit it. It's still quite early morning. And then I'm gonna do my usual cafe journaling recce afterwards. This is the extent of cherry blossoms that I'm seeing here. But it's okay because when I come in winter, it means there's less crowds in general since it's off peak. I'm walking over to this thematic cafe that I found. I'm really excited because there's a part of me that really enjoys this aesthetic. At one point, I ordered another coffee and he asked me to pick out my own teacup whatever I'd like from that huge shelf. Enjoy the sunshine at the park for a little bit before taking the subway to go to Shinjuku to explore that neighborhood. in the vlog is how long I spent snaking through the small streets in Shinjuku. A lot of people were on their lunch break from work so it was kind of cool seeing people live out their daily lives while I'm here looking for a tripod. What better time to replace the one I broke months ago than now in Tokyo. I also went shopping, didn't actually vlog, and then here I am in the cafeteria for dinner. when I get back from breakfast but I thought let me get some food in my belly I'm gonna go down to the restaurant I hope that it's good I hope that there's like a Japanese flair to it and I want to say I got this tiny nail polish from 7-eleven yesterday thinking oh okay have a little cute spa night watching Netflix and the nail polish is so bad I'm shocked the texture of this, just imagine, you know when you play on those play structures as a kid that's like plastic and it's like trying to be like rock? If I pretend like that's what I was going for, then it's not so bad. It's like some matte gravel effect, but I really, <laughs> it just feels so weirdly sandy and grainy. If I go by a salon this morning. I might get a little cute Japanese nail do and they can help me remove this. <laughs> I love Asian food so much. I cannot say curry for breakfast. Can I do that every day? I'm gonna do that when I get home. <laughs> I'm off to a nail appointment. Fix these doggy poop 
nails. <laughs> Once you get the hang of the subway, it is so efficient and fun. I love that they rely on colors and numbers. Like every station has its own unique number and they even tell you which door to wait at. So it's really efficient to make your way to exits that are also numbered. This is the nicest salon I've ever been to. Very expensive, but compared to New York prices, it is actually really good. They give you a discount if you post on social media afterwards. And Mayo, which is my nail artist, she was really kind, didn't speak English, so we had to exclusively use Google Translate. But that was also a vibe. It was really fun. Finished in perfect time to rock across the neighborhood. I have plans with Reese this afternoon and evening, actually. So I'm gonna get that, and then which pancake did you want? I want the Snoopy one. We're gonna have a lot of quality time because she's been in and out of Tokyo, and tomorrow she's also out of town. So I'm really grateful that we get to spend any overlapping time here eating cute food that's very average tasting, by the way, but very cute. To loft got a bunch of gifts for people because it was like my last chance and then we're settled down here at excelsior cafe but journaling and then reese asked me to freehand any sketch or art because she has this frame she wants to use to decorate her room it's art you drew art and then the food we ate on the bottom. The and then a little bit to the right of that, that's your house. Thank you, thank you, thank you so thank much for it. Thank you to... for asking me to do it. It's almost noon, 
I slept in until like 9.30. I actually haven't really had proper sushi yet since I've been here, even though I, here I thought I'm gonna be having sushi every day. But weirdly, I just haven't been given, <laughs> I just haven't really been prioritizing that. And I think I also feel kind of shy going to restaurants by myself, not really knowing anything and they're not English friendly. And I know that's like, not the best reason, but I have been having a lot of fun shopping, which leaves me less time to research and like find restaurants. Good ones that I've been recommended, unfortunately are booked out for like two weeks. So you know what, next time I come back, I think I will make it more of a food tour. And this time I'm like reinventing myself or something. I'm like getting a bunch of clothes because it's been a while. So anything I find, I choose to cherish it for like at least 10 years ongoing. It's like as long as I can possibly keep it. And that's what I try to do. Really concerned about the end of life of the goods, you know? So it's not just about like consuming it for such an ephemeral like a season but this time around i feel like it's been a long time since i really thought about my personal style and i have felt kind of dissociated like always wearing things from my high school or early college and not really like caring about my style because i don't really have the opportunity to curate it to my current look Turns out, I really like different things. So some days I like the more, what is this, girly and comfortable, laid back, quaint, cottage core maybe. And then some days I love the street style. It's also really practical, durable, and that's that. I'm gonna call. Uh, not room service. Available to dine in. Annabelle? Thank you. Bye-bye. waiting. So he says, okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Definitely going downstairs, my hotel was not the best option and the, the sushi was good, but not great. But for the price, it was awesome. And I really like the ambiance. She also asked me if I wanted a second cup of coffee, but I misheard and thought she was asking if I wanted to keep sipping on my first one. But it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to have two lattes. A later start than I anticipated, but I'm off to Kamakura, which is a seaside city. I guess it's like a simple pleasure now that's developing. I love watching the world go by and look at all the houses and just picture how different this society is than what I'm so used to. And even when I am back home, like I take the train and my sisters and I see her in Boston, one of my favorite things is just to look out the window and listen to music. Hopefully one day I can come back and actually stay here and explore all that there is to see but I had to narrow it down because of limited daylight however at least there's enough time to make it to the ocean by dusk
The train back was less fun because it's hard to see when it's dark outside, but I got this latte from a vending machine that is hot. Never knew that you can do that. Back at this mall that I visited a few days ago because my mind has not been off of this little rice cooker that I discovered, but I told myself I would think on it, and now it's my last evening, and yes, I want it. Made all my moments your own Just fucking leave me alone Jesus, man. That's just about the worst shot I've ever seen. I'm a hunter, I guess. My flight's not until late afternoon, but might as well check out in the morning and have plenty of commute so it's not stressful at all. And okay, my luggage was 9 kilograms when I arrived in Tokyo and now it is 21 kilograms. <laughs> Did I get lost? Maybe. Did I take four different trains trying to finally find the right one? Good thing I left all that buffer, huh? Made it to the flight! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and following this journey. I had the best time and I hope to go on many more solo adventures. Until next time. Bye Japan.